Really big. Big beaver though. Back down here at this dam where I got my buck kicked for a couple of days. And I caught two yesterday. Look at that. I already got Dan back up. Water still flowing. Decent though, which is kind of kind of surprising if they did dam it back up. Uh, let's see here. I don't remember which side I set the trap on. I think we can see the bar down there. There's the bar. I can't remember if I missed, I think I missed on this trap. Ah, I missed again it looks like, gosh dang it. Ah. Oh, trap's still set, guys. Whew. Got lucky there. Oh, earth. I'm gonna make sure this does set off, though, guys. Definitely fired. Kind of feel like that tra the trap might be just a, a bump. Uh, the pan might be a bump too low. Might need to adjust that pan up just a little bit. Sticks got all in this trap. One thing that sucks about breaking the dams is right here. This right here is what happens, guys, sometimes. Hadn't happened too many times this year to me, but this right here is what happens. All right, we'll get these two, we'll get that trap over there re reset. Get this trap here reset, and then I got two more traps, I think, three more traps on down, so. The beavers are still kicking my ass here. Heck. Now the next dam, I caught a little beaver here yesterday, guys. You can already see the, I set a crossover set over there yesterday. The trap looked like it's set off. <clears throat> Can't see crap because of all this nasty shit, but they definitely brought sticks in, guys, and dammed it up a little bit here. <clears throat> I should just grab. I got a caster mount set. Oh, darn it. Wrong, wrong hand. I got a caster mount set, guys, just straight across over there. It's in a perfect spot. I just. I don't think they're really hitting caster mounds right now, guys. I just don't. At least they're not for me. Not here. I'm wondering if I should move it. That caster mount, or if I should move it. Instead on the downside of this crossover. He sticks out of our way. I really don't remember where that trap's actually at, guys. There's the rod. Stick, stick. I think the traps ran. <clears throat> Feels like something. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Another little beaver. Another little beaver here, guys. 
check it out. Maybe. All right, there we go. Great back foot catch, guys, on this little beaver. Heck yeah. That's what we want right there, guys. Another beaver that's bleeding. This is the second beaver today that I've seen bleeding. And it looks like a beaver's biting on him again. Huh. Guess I don't ever recall ever seeing that. That's twice today. And I actually had somebody, somebody question uh, or asked me if I knew anything about that. Asked if, uh, if I've ever heard of a beaver attacking another beaver underwater. And my response was, I don't think I've ever had it happen to me, but I actually, I actually wouldn't be surprised. Um, and what, why I said that guys was cause like I just thought about, uh, for deer season, like when it's the rut, I killed a doe one year and she was in heat, I'm assuming. And I was just managing this property, shot the doe and a buck followed her, um, trail where she came in from it was just a little buck and she died right in front of me and then he went over there and was getting his horns in her body and trying to pick her up and uh so he could he could uh breed her and then he actually picked her up and then bred her and then the poor girl died pretty wild pretty freaking wild so I basically was like, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I see it in the deer. I've seen deer do that kind of thing, I guess. But I mean, not bite them, but you guys get what I'm saying. <clears throat> well, just one beaver today. But I guess it's better than no beaver. Make sure this slides because we got we got a decent amount of like sticks and crap. Like right there. There we go. Okay. Slide this back up here. there guys again just gonna break it just a smidgen just like that so the water can just slowly go I want these beavers to keep pounding through here okay guys let's go get this trap set over here Woo! And then I gotta go home skin beavers all right guys super windy of course just like always uh, Pulling traps today, guys. Uh, supposed to get a lot of rain this weekend, starting tomorrow. Actually, starting tonight. I believe starting tonight. And uh, I, wherever, all the places I'm going to, it mean it'd be super muddy. So don't want to be tearing fields up and these farmers. Anyways, I'm at the. I'm starting backwards, guys. We're starting at the the last dam that I basically set. Um, whatever. How many days that was? But anyways, we're starting there. We're working our way downstream this time instead of upstream so stay tuned guys all right guys first trap the old uh the old caster mound didn't work for the beaver but it worked for a coon here we got a trap over there yet and a trap over there we can't see traps so hopefully uh we'll get lucky and get a beaver stay tuned all right guys the trap looks like it's been ran here. Let's see if I can do be three for three. That'd be nice. Oh, 
Oh yeah, three for three guys. Three small beavers. Three small beavers on this uh, uh, crossover right here guys. I will take that for sure. The old Duke 850, another back foot catch here. Heck yeah. Oh. All right, come right over here guys. Yep, trap still set here guys, okay? So, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, Buddy and I are gonna do some shed hunting um, today. It's real cloudy out, a little windy, but it's really cloudy. Perfect day to go shed hunting besides the wind. Um, but really the last week or two, it's, it's been freaking sunny and windy. So we're gonna give it a shot today. I might tag you guys along and see if we can find a horn. So, all right, we've got a couple more traps left. All right, guys, I'm at the last dam here. I went right past that trap, didn't even pay attention to it. It does look like it's dammed back up. Didn't see the trap, but I also can't see like, like yesterday they dammed it up and clogged that trap up without setting it off. I'm over here where the crossover is, where I kind of broke it a little bit. It looks like the trap is ran. And good news, they didn't dam this up at all, which I didn't hardly break this. Let's get, hopefully I get lucky. I feel, think there's something on there. Yep, small beaver, guys. Jeez, I can catch the small ones. Look at that, great front foot catch. We'll take them, guys. That's, uh, I think that makes the fourth small one out of this area. For sure the third. I think the fourth though guys i think i went three for three on that crossover that we just checked guys i'm trying to remember i know it's the fourth one and guys i think there's still beavers in here i have to pull though i just have to guys i think my rod's right there Making sure the trap's not right there. Okay, traps ran. Now this one, I've got skunked every freaking time. Yesterday I just, I didn't even catch her, get one set off here. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know what I did wrong here, guys. I obviously said it wrong though. Well, dang it. Guys, there's still beavers here. I just, just stay tuned guys. I'm gonna get right back with you guys here in just a second. All right guys, so as of right now, I'm done at this location. I have like, I think I have like 15 days left of trapping season. I honestly don't know what today is. I think it's about 15 days left. So let's get a decent amount of rain in. I hope we do guys, we really need the rain. Um, but if we don't get a lot of rain, and I think I can make it back in here, I'm gonna come back in here because I know for sure there has to be at least one more big beaver guys i'm almost positive i've caught four little ones and one big one i'm not 100 percent on that but i'm pretty positive so before i head out of here though i just want you guys to take a look at this real fast so here's the bottom of the ditch you guys can see down there look at all that water tons of water and it goes up there guys a good 200 yards solid 200 yards that way so right here guys see this tree where it v's I used to have a tree stand right up there looking over this ditch here because deer used to travel it hard. 
the beavers did all of this guys uh last last summer so i came down here to hang, hang trail cameras and i was like oh shit, there is water so i'm like well i guess i can stock some fish in here get the stand and move it to, down to a tree over here and fish out of the stand while i'm deer hunting that'd actually be pretty sweet but uh yeah so i'm gonna blow this dam sometime this year i'm not sure when but i am gonna blow it and we're gonna load that baby up with some tannerite we're gonna put, get we might do 30 40 pounds of tannerite there and uh really make that dam disappear and there's a dam above and i'm gonna leave that alone because i feel like that actually helps me with the deer so all right guys that's gonna do it for this property obviously if you're watching this video i've already done my editing and stuff but I, as of right now i have no idea how i'm gonna edit this video yet so Appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.